Hello everyone, hope you're well. So you haven't had a 20 minute or so long haul from me in quite a while so I thought I would film today and I don't know if you can sound from, you can hear from the sound of my voice but I do sound slightly nasally and that's because I have had the worst flu ever um, these past couple of days and I'm just now feeling a little bit better and I've just basically been in bed and you know <laughs> just lounging around because when I get ill I get really really sick. Before that I've had a really busy week, if you've watched my last video you'll know I've just been busy with school but I also got my hair done so I'm feeling much more refreshed today. I even fake tanned because I knew it would make me feel better so I'm much much more refreshed and another thing if you like the makeup that I have going on in this video I also filmed a tutorial on it so it's like a little bit more of a polished everyday kind of makeup look so yes there's lots of exciting things going on today but I thought I would come back with a big collective haul I haven't picked up these things in one go it's been kind of like a month and a half or so that I've been picking these things up and I thought I would share them with you guys there's everything there's perfume there's makeup -y stuff and there's clothes so let's get on with it so firstly I want to address my earrings and as soon as I saw these in Zara again excuse just the croaky voice by the way I can really hear it I completely fell in love with them and knew that I had to have them and it's these super duper whooper cute little earrings and if I could show you like the back of them that's kind of what it looks like I don't know if that's making any sense to anyone but this little thing just basically hooks onto the stud and when I went to put these on I actually lost the original stud that came with it but luckily I, I have these that look pretty identical and they were about £12 I think so it's I don't know is that a lot but I just think they're so cute I wear them to work and I get so many compliments on them because they're just something a little bit different and I really like them so I thought I would show you those from Zara I don't know what to go with first. I'm going to keep going with Zara just because we're running a theme here and it is my favourite store. I got these quite a while now, I want to say about three and a half, four weeks ago and I really don't know where they were in my life before. I have literally, when I started uni again, university, I did not, I've, I think I wore them like five days in a row because I was just like, they're so comfortable, they go with everything and they give this like sports luxe vibe and I'm not normally someone that buys trainers that don't have like a make or brand but these are just the Zara own brand white trainer and I love them now the camera is washing them out they're actually I don't know if you guys can even see that they are quite dirty but I kind of like that on you know as like a look for them and like I said they're so comfortable they're so beautiful they're amazing I love them they go with everything blue jeans black trousers they just give this like really just effortless vibe and because they're not branded they're just like a white trainer and they just go with everything and I don't have to even think about when I put them on because they're so comfortable and I know that they don't have them on the website anymore but I have gone into stores and them in the stores so I might even go and pick up another pair that's how much I love them like I'm a psycho but yeah, they're like my favourite things in the world. These are like, if I had to do an October favourites, they would be in them because I've been wearing them so, so much. Continuing on with Zara, I saw this t-shirt and again, as soon as I start school, I start to see a pattern into the sort of things that I'm going to start wearing that semester or that, you know, time period. And for me, it's like t-shirt, jeans or t-shirt and trousers. And that's like all I live in. And I don't have any slogan t-shirts. So I thought I would add some into my wardrobe. And Zara does really nice ones. So I saw this in Zara and completely fell in love with it. And it's just a grey t-shirt that says, a jeans and tea kind of girl. Which basically sums me right up. And I just really liked the slogan on it and the fact that it's like a grey marl effect t-shirt and it just fits really well it's really nice material super soft and i got this in a size medium just because i like them to be a little bit oversized but i could have probably even worn a small and i think it probably wasn't any more than 15 pounds maybe even less and i've worn this so much i love it it's got makeup all over the collar already because that's how i roll gray has really been like on my agenda I don't know, I love grey and I love, especially love grey on guys, is that weird? But I do. But anyway, I like grey on myself as well and, and especially with lighter hair. And I got this from Zara. This is just a simple sweatshirt. I mean, you could probably find this in Primark, but I really like the Zara one. It's super fleecy inside and soft. And again, I just wear these like going to school 
every single day, like to uni every day. And I normally layer them under with a t-shirt underneath and it gives just a little bit of texture and it makes them slightly more comfortable and even more layers. Like I layer you guys, like I wear vest, I wear t-shirt, I wear the jumper, I wear a scarf, I wear a coat. I go all in, otherwise I get ill, which I did. So there we go, <laughs> that's why I have to like be extra. But I got this from the TRF section and it was probably 19.99 and I got it in a medium. But again, you could probably find this in Primark Men's. I should have looked. Next, again from Zara. You guys know I love my Zara. Also, I'm not adding any Topshop items in this video because I have a really big Topshop order coming in because you guys know I work with Topshop. I've been doing looks with them now for a couple of months and I've got my last one coming up now and I'm so, so excited about the things coming. So you, if you're into Topshop, there's another Topshop haul coming up really soon and I bought some jeans and some shoes from there recently as well. But from, again, Zara, I got more t-shirts and these are similar. And I got these two, and one says pyjama party with a girl with a cat. And then I got the black one which says nap hard, which is like so cute. It's got a little, is that a Frenchie or like, I don't know what kind of dog that is, but it's super cute. And I love these, they're so comfortable. They're from the TRF section. I haven't worn the black one yet, but I've worn the white one. And I've actually worn the white one a lot. And they're super duper soft. And again, they just add something a little bit different to an otherwise boring outfit. Like if I'm wearing a leather jacket or something, they just spruce it up a little bit. And yeah, I don't know. I just really like the kind of Instagram, Tumblr-y kind of picture that is going on on the front. You guys, do you get what I'm saying? I think, wait, I have the price on here because this one still has the tag. They're $12.99. Like that is really, really reasonable. And this is from the TRF section as well. So if you like these, then go and have a look. You guys are seeing a trend here. I'm really like going for comfort <laughs> and I got this from Zara. This is again from the TRF section. It looks like the TRF section has really done well this time and this is the softest little sweatshirt type thing ever and this is what it looks like. It's just a black sweat but it's that kind of like Wild Fox, Jersey, Brandy Melville kind of material that is really really soft and it's just a hoodie with a hood at the back as a hoodie would and can you guys see I'm a little bit delirious I think because this is the first day that I'm like out of bed I'm a bit like oh like let's crack jokes to myself um, and I was home alone last night as well so I think I'm maybe going a bit crazy but I don't know <laughs> that's just me and yeah it's just really really comfortable you could probably even wear this like if you were going to the gym or something they do them in black grey um, and stripe and probably other stuff as well but I got the black just as a start off and this was something like $17.99 and I got a size medium so it's from Zara TRF and um, all the ones that I can find like items that I'm showing I will try and link them down below for you guys because I love you guys and then this is the jumper that I wore in my last video so you guys can go and see it there it looks so much nicer on like in person and it's just a different take on a sweatshirt so it's quite low cut but it's like it's quite sexy in a way but it's really boxy and oversized and again for those days I'm just like lazy and I need to go into school I know it annoys really a lot of people when I say school into university then because university is such a long name university for those days this is amazing and again it's fleeced inside so it's super warm and I normally just layer under it because I just layer under everything from H&M I got these Reese well I got these like I think again like a month ago and I still haven't worn them so I wanted to return them because I have this thing now that if I don't wear something within the month I return it but um, my mum denies to this day that she did not throw away my receipt because she always throws away bags in my room but she definitely threw away the bag that had the receipt of this in but um, it's these boots and I thought I'd show them to you guys because I'm going to keep them and try and wear them I don't know why I find them so hard to style there must be something like I really like the way they look on and then I go to wear them and then I'm like I'll just wear my trainers so it's like I don't know I don't know what's going on but it's these booties and they're a suede like kind of westerny style boot they remind me of like Hudson and those kind of brands they are actually a really nice pair of boots I got them when H&M was doing their 20% off uni day so they were 50 pounds but I got them for 40 I think yeah they were 49.99 and I got them for 40 pounds but I don't know what it is I just haven't worn them but they are really really nice 
you guys need to like tell me down below like Barbara wear them, Barbara wear them and then I probably will but yeah I really like them see I like them maybe I, sh I, sh I shouldn't be moaning yeah if you want to go and check out your local H&M check them out because I really don't like the H&M website you guys so I'm not going to link them because the H&M website gives me a headache I just can't even look or I've never even ordered from there and Michelle's ordered from there before and she's told me that their ordering is really bad as well so yes those are something you'd need to check out the store for I have a scarf from Zara and I got this kind of on a whim and now I have worn it quite a, quite a few times but the only thing is it's one of those scarves that sheds like a mofo basically and it's this salt and pepper scarf and it's really really big this is it like folded I'm gonna get bits everywhere it's quite a square shape but really really large and it is gorgeous like I love this kind of colour um, like the salt and pepper texture and stuff but it just sheds everywhere and like I get this in my eyes it irritates my eyes it's really annoying but I do really like it so if you guys can give me some tips on to how to stop that from happening because it's just all over the scarf then let me know down below I think I've asked about that before and you guys told me something but I can't remember for the life of me what it is but it is amazing and I do love it and I still wear it just have to like close my eyes as I wear it um but I think this is about 25 pounds Zara scarves are amazing I love them I think they're so chic and they've also like they've got like really cool ones like greeny ones and purpley ones they're really really pretty and I'm definitely going to have a look at some more then I got this from Monkey I went into central London to get my hair done I will leave my hairdresser's um details down below I think this is probably now that I've got makeup on and everything and I can look at myself properly probably one of my favorite tones that my hairdresser has ever made my hair go I'm really really happy with my hair I don't know you guys can let me know down below but she's just amazing at getting the kind of feathered root look like she's amazing I went into central London to get my hair done and then I met up with Shirley and then we went and like shopped and stuff and I got this coat and she got the coat too and I've needed and wanted a parka for ages I love that Scandinavian vibe of like a parka and yeah a parka and I saw this one in Monkey and just couldn't leave it I'll probably do a split screen where I can show you guys wearing it and it's this parka I'll leave a link to it down below I know ASOS does it it has a fur hood which is actually really nice like I really love this against my hair colour and it's super warm and that was like the main reason why I wanted it because like I said I go to university and it gets cold and um, I need a coat so it's just a really simple parka I will show this in the split screen and it's really really thick and gorgeous it doesn't have like crazy hardware on it as well which I like and the back's really plain the only thing with monkey is you guys like the sizing in there is crazy I got this in an extra small and I'm not an extra small in anything. It was £75. It looks really cool with like trainers and blue jeans and like that kind of look. I don't know. I know what look I'm talking about in my head but it's just can I execute it. Then I'm showing you guys these. These are kind of like a miscellaneous, well not miscellaneous thing but I didn't actually purposely get them for like a fashion look but I would actually wear them like out because I love them and it's a pair of Nikes or Nikes I actually do like the sound of Nike better than Nike but I say Nike most of the time and you guys I've joined the gym and I actually have so many gym clothes that I could incorporate into this haul but I just think it will be so long like that's where most of my money this month has gone I've spent so much money on gym clothes and you guys like proper like Nike gym clothes or Adidas or those kind of brands like they're expensive Expensive. the leggings are like 28 pounds I'm like crikey <laughs> but they do like they actually do fit me so much better that's why I'm investing in some and I have a pair of trainers but you guys you know like sometimes you just need a bit of motivation and I got these and I'm really really happy I did I did and I love so them I got these and they're the Nike or Nike Roche run you guys I'm sure know what these are but if I was gonna wear a Nike trainer this is probably it and I love them they were on ASOS for a while and then I saw that they sold out that made me even more crazy and like want to get them so I got them from office and I'm glad office now like they're there's sometimes I feel like some shops are just not onto the whole like online shopping bandwagon like H&M really needs to step it up and um, office has stepped it up basically and I ordered online because I don't really like the office stores that much I don't know why I just 
I don't, I don't know why. I love them. They smell really nice. They've got this like plasticky smell that I really like. I haven't worn them so they don't smell bad. But um, yeah, and I genuinely feel like I would wear these out and about as well. They were about £62-ish with student discounts. So they're not, like, I know some Nike trainers can go for like £90. Um, but I really, really love these and I've got the other one as well. But again, I haven't worn them. So those are what they look like. And because I wear quite a lot of like coloured stuff to the gym, like the only place I ever wear colour, like I wear like blues and yellows and stuff, um, I just thought black would just go with everything. And then if I actually see myself going more and actually like need more motivation, I can buy myself more trainers, but not right now. So if any of you guys are like really into the gym and stuff, let me know down below what sites you love to buy your gym clothes from because I've had loads of trouble like finding cute stuff that I actually feel like nice in and the only brand that I've been buying is Nike because it's just the only brand that I feel like fits me and I actually feel like I don't sweat as much in and stuff like that's gross but it's true and I just wanted to give you guys the heads up do not buy this I bought this because I've been really wanting to when I go to the gym, I wear waterproof eye makeup and I wear waterproof eye makeup, like just eyes. I don't wear foundation or anything, but I wear mascara just because otherwise you guys know that I look like a boiled egg without mascara or that's how I think I look without mascara on. So um, I wanted a really good eye makeup remover that as soon as I get in, I can just have a shower, take off my eye makeup and then go and get about my day. And I bought this and you guys, this makes my eyes sting and water like a... B word like it my eyes sting so much it was only about two pounds but you guys save your two pounds for a coffee or an ice cream this is so rubbish and it really did make my eyes really sting so I love Garnier like I love Garnier the micellar water and stuff and I like their body products but this was really really pants I'm sorry and I was really disappointed because I don't want something that stings my eyes and I wear lenses so it's just like crazy and then Last of all, I was so excited, I posted a picture of this on my Instagram and this is the Library of Fragrance and this is the Gingerbread Perfume. Now, you guys I'm sure know that I love like sweet smelling things and I love like candles that smell of gingerbread, vanilla, like those kind of things. Can I please just say like this is a fragrance that smells like, like a cake and that is so, like it sounds weird like I don't know if I would ever have actually picked this up, but it's weirdly addictive and I absolutely love the smell of this. It's gorgeous and they do like really cool smells, like anything that you think like a candle might smell like, they do like the fragrance version and I just got this at Boots and maybe if you try like a bigger Boots, a bigger store, they'll have them. They also had like a an offer going on, like you can buy two for £15 or something, it's something along those lines. But they're really inexpensive, they're about £10 and this is 30 mil. and the smell actually really does last and if like me you want to smell like a gingerbread then try this. And I also think the packaging is really nice so I think they've done really well and I think these are meant to be like layered as well so they're really cool. And last of all I'm actually going to make a pan of my room and show you guys these items but I bought these, I went to again that day that I was out with Shirley, I got these from H&M Home and this is on... Okay, if you think of Oxford Street, it's not the really big H&M on the roundabout, it's the one if you go down from Topshop, and if you go, I think it's upstairs, or downstairs, I can't remember, they have a home section, I think it's upstairs, and I was a little bit disappointed, but I did get some things that I'm like absolutely in love with, and one of them is this gorgeous, uh, coppery, rose goldy, more copper, kind of, I don't know, it's probably like a candle holder, but I'm using it as a makeup brush holder, and... I love this, it was so beautiful and I'm going to show you guys as well now with the camera the other stuff that I got because they're so pretty and they just spruce up my room and I have quite a lot of mixed metals in my room and this is just like another dimension that is added to my room so I think that was about £6 and I'm going to show you guys the other stuff as well. I love having things on my shelf and I'll link my bedroom tour down below so you can see what shelf I'm talking about if you haven't but I bought this candle holder and it's again that copper colour and I just added my own candle to it, but I just wanted it to hold up my books. This is one of my favourite books, by the way. And then I also got these tea light candle holders, and I just think they look super duper cute. And then in case you guys are really wondering, I got this bed sheet from H&M Home as well. And I just love the... it's like this off-blue grey 
like I don't know I love the material of it I really really like it and I just like simple bed sheets because as you guys can see I like to just put a load of pillows on my bed and I loved the blue colour of this one and it was only about $14.99 so I got that. So I hope as always you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what your favourite thing that I showed was. I know it wasn't anything like too crazy or exciting but hopefully one of you found something that you like. And hauls are just my absolute favourite thing to watch. I like to just sit there with a cup of tea or doing my makeup or eating and watching them. So I know that long videos aren't for everyone, but I'm still a big, big fan of long, long videos. When I like to watch someone, that's just my favourite video to watch from yes, them. I hope so. you're doing really good and be looking out for my Topshop videos and this makeup look. And I will see you guys all very soon. Love you lots.